Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, JP Saricolia here. Welcome again to another episode of Age of Heroes, my podcast. Uh, I, I hope that you enjoy it. Had a great Christmas and you ate a lot of food and you have a lot of presents and you had a lot of fun with your family. Uh, I certainly did, although I, I was sick for the entire celebration. Uh, I got sick since I think since Friday. I've been, I got sick and I've been sick pretty much. and I'm still trying to recover from, you know, some cold, you know, a lot of cold and flu and sinuses and all that. So it's been not fun at all. I don't wish no one to go through that through you know, any holiday or any celebration. But, you know, besides that, you know, of course, we had time to, to you know, get some food and, you know, enjoy the time and, you know, have some presents and all of that. So I hope that you have the same. Now, uh, in today's uh, podcast, as we come closer to the end of this year, uh, 2018, and we are ready to welcome 2019 um, in, in a few days. Uh, it's, it's you know, there's a lot of things to say, a lot of things to share. Uh, and one of them, actually, that comes to mind, uh, to me, actually, just if you watch my video recently of uh, my review of the, you know, the Spider-Verse, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which, in my opinion, was a phenomenal movie. Uh, have the you know I really enjoyed it. Uh, that's the reason I created the review because I really love it. It was a good movie, and I do recommend anyone to watch it. Uh, and I'm going to get into a little bit of a spoilers uh, territory here uh, in the spoiler territory because I'm going to share a few things that happened within the movie that really impacted me. You know, that's the great thing about movies uh, that you 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 can find uh, uh, you know life lessons there that really good movies and you know good stories, you know good books. Uh, where you have a life lesson that can really, really change the way you think or the way you act. And one of the, the biggest, the best lines in the movie, actually, was Peter Parker, uh, when he talks to Miles Morales, you know, when he was afraid of doing anything, you know, he's afraid to use his powers. He don't know how to control them. And he says something extremely very powerful in the movie. And he says, everything is a leap of faith. And this is what I want to talk about, uh, leaps of faith in our lives. And I don't want to sound religious here, of course. You know, this is not the purpose of this uh, podcast. It has never been. But, you know, it's important to understand what faith is all about. You know, faith that in life, you know, it's an important part of who we are. That in order to accomplish something, so that we're going to have to jump. And it's not about just, you know, it's not about the, 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 the end result. It's not about what we want to accomplish, but more about the leaping. It's more about the jumping into sometimes the unknown, not knowing how we're going to get there, but really get into the place that we want to be in life. And I think that's what really struck me from the film uh, and a very powerful scene, a very powerful moment uh, and the aftermath, of course, of that moment, which was great. And if you haven't watched the movie, I highly recommend you to watch it. And if I, I spoil it, I'm sorry, but it's going to be very powerful in a moment that you, it needs to be. And uh, I feel that that was the best part of the film. And, and you know what? Thinking about that, you know, that's the part where I feel that. And I, I did mention this in a regular podcast, in a previous podcast. Why is it that some now even video games are better than a lot of comic book stories because of the message? I think that's the important thing, you know, the storytelling. And ultimately, it's about the message. The message do you convey and how you present it. You know, when you present a story uh, to any in anything, whether it's video games, whether it's comic books, whether it's novels or movies, it's all about the end message. It's the message. What you convey to people, how can you convince them to get to that place? That's what really matters. You know, a story that lacks a message, a story that lacks that can be entertainment, can be all of that. But if it, it is dead, you know, it's, if it just doesn't have that, that core message, a core value that people can rotate or can gravitate around, it's never going to fly. It's never going to be more than just a block, you know, just a summer blockbuster, uh, just mindless entertainment, just a casual game, just a comic book, another comic book story, a revamp of something that doesn't really convey any message. And that's the problem that we have. And if you haven't you really listened to that podcast, I, I have the link so you can listen it or watch it here on YouTube where I talk about storytelling, how powerful it is. But a message is extremely important for any story. But going back to the main uh, message of this podcast in regards to Leap of Faith, you know, I've been thinking about it, you know, been thinking lately, as, as you know, and I mentioned before, I'm planning to to leave my job and in getting into 
to do with this full time. You know, my videos, my podcasts. I want to grow this. I have a lot of plans, a lot of plans for this coming year. Um, you know, and all of that require a lot of faith. It requires a lot of letting go and understanding what the future will bring and, uh, you know, trusting, first of all, trusting God and his ability to provide for every need, but also trusting on the gifts that are inside of me, the, the ability to do what I do and to really do it and in in to pursue my, my goals and dreams. Dreams. And I know for many of you, maybe you think that's a crazy idea. Maybe you think, well, maybe you need to do this and that. And, you know, I appreciate your concern. But part of me feels that if I don't do it, I will never going to do it. If I don't do this today, I'm never going to move beyond what I've been planning and dreaming for the past five, six years. And I feel that this is the time. This is my time to to really do it, whether it works or not, whether it if it really functions or not, whether I build it or not, whether it fails in the in the way. I feel that this is the only way to really know. Uh, and, and this is really, watching the movie really prompted me to believe that. I just keep trusting that. You know, as I get closer to the day, uh, it gets a bit scary. I'm not going to deny it. But part of me feels that, you know, I'm ready for the job. It's about the leaping part, not about the end result. We're about leaping, you know, and, and that's how we grow. I believe that in my, and I've seen that in my life. You know, sometimes we move and we jump into situations. Sometimes we don't know where we're heading. But some, some of those decisions can be good and sometimes can be bad. But for the most part, I've experienced that every leap of faith takes us to a growth, a maturity, even when things fail. Even when we create a business and we open a business and the business fails, we grew in the process and we grow and mature and we learn through our mistakes. So that leap of faith may put us to a place, sometimes of bitterness, sometimes we get bitter about it. But because we forget and we forget that it's not about the end result, but more about the leaping, the jumping and the journey. And life is all about that. And you know what? In this Christmas season, in this end of the year season, in the holidays, it's important that we remember that. That we remember that life is all about faith. The moment probably you get married, it's about faith. The moment that you got into a relationship, it's about faith. Trusting that this will build you up and it will be great for you. The moment that you start a job, it's a leap of faith whether you move from one job to the other. The moment you start anything, any dream, whether you decide to, you love music and you decide to create your own band or, you know, to, to enter into a business or graphic design or even becoming a sculptor or a painter, it requires faith. You know, that's one of the things that I have come to know a lot of my friends through uh, the statue collecting over the years. There's a lot of people that, that you know, they, they left their jobs or good, secure jobs doing what they were doing, making good money, having retirement plans. And I was talking to a friend no long ago, I'm not going to name, but he was telling me that it was just leap of faith, you know, letting go all of that, just benefits, his juice job, his, his, the career that already was heading in that direction but he was very unhappy going into something that he loved, who was painting. And he started very small, painting for very small jobs, not really having enough sometimes to survive. But now he's painting for big companies. Well, he, you know, he's still a contract for hire, but he loves to do, get up in the morning and do what he loves the most, which is painting statues, you know, and doing all of that for his companies and for his promos and, you know, having this opportunity. And now he's very happy. And I was, he was posting the other day that he can see his name now, you know, that has been used, you know, in and a lot of these companies use his name as an artist that worked for these companies. And he's just so, so happy and satisfied that his dream has come to this place. And I know that he has places to go. And, uh, you know, and that's something that that's just an example of many. You know, sometimes you have to jump. Jump, just jump, whether it is to change the way things are. You have to leap, you know, you have to to move forward. And Maybe where you're at right now is not the best place in your life. Maybe you feel dissatisfied with your job, dissatisfied with your, where your life is heading. Maybe you feel trapped because you have bills to pay, because you have kids to send to college. All of that. I've been through all of this, you know, and I tell you, you know, you will be more dissatisfied if you don't do what is in your heart. Ultimately, I think your kids I will appreciate more to see a father or a mother that is willing to take the leap of faith and willing to follow his or her dream rather than seeing a parent that is disgruntled with life, that is unhappy with life, that is just not willing to sacri- to go beyond that. The, 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 you know, the meaningless or the, just the daily sacrifices that we do. You know, and, uh, you know, they love what we do and they're thankful. But I think the best legacy you can leave your kids is to follow their dreams. 
to follow their hearts. When you do that, I think the world changes, their life changes, and they appreciate more. You know, as a, as a kid, you know, growing up, I, we have good times and bad times. My, my parents are professionals. My dad is a chemical engineer. Uh, my mother is an accountant, although my mother never really exercised her career because she was always a businesswoman. She always had her own businesses and besides accounting. And of course, accounting came into play in order to manage business. So my parents were, there were good years and there were bad years. You know, there were years where it was, there was plenty and there were years that were not enough. But my parents always find the opportunity, one way or the other, to celebrate Christmas, to celebrate the holidays, you know, even when there was not plenty. And it was all about they follow their dreams. And I learned through them and seeing them and following them. I learned that it's not about the riches or the money or the house or the cars or all the possessions in the world. It's about the unity of the family. It's about how we are connected and how we build each other up with our own dreams. And that has helped me in my life to pursue my dreams, whether it's this or that, and to not doubt that things will be okay, even when things don't seem to be okay. And and that's definitely one of the biggest lessons I learned from them. And I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to have a good family basis in my life. You know, and you know, the best part is when we were together, not the money part. I remember the best years were when they were together, when things were not as good financially, but we were home. I mean, you know, they were trying to make things work for us. Even when my dad was not working in his profession and he has to start his own little business at home, you know, he was doing things, but we were together. And you know what? Your kids are going to remember that more than anything in the world. You know, it's not about having the newest game system or having the newest bicycle or motorbike or the newest phone. It's about having dad or mom at home. And if your job today is stealing you, robbing you from that opportunity, then you know what? Then that job is not worth it. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the sacrifice. Just do what is in your heart. You know, and I'm not here to tell you, you know, be reckless. But I'm here to tell you, just do what is in your heart. If you've been planning to be, I don't know, a comic book drawer for the longest and you have the talent, you know, and you've been letting it sit there forever, maybe it's time that you take it and you do it because it's in your heart. Maybe you've been planning to do comic webs, uh, you know, stories. Maybe you've been dreaming about writing a novel. Maybe you've been dreaming about creating a story and pass it along, your, your, your work to other companies. Maybe you, somebody can publish your book. Just do it. Just do it. What's, what's the, what could happen? What would be the, the worst thing that could ever happen? That the doors get shot in your face? Nobody say no. You know, just because someone say no, doesn't mean that someone would not say yes. There is, you know, you know how many publishers are out there? How many comic book stories are out there? How many people are looking for talented people out there? You know, and you know what? Any person in this world has a talent. You will all have a talent. Your talent might be music. You know, maybe you're very good at it. You know, never doubt your talents. Never doubt yourself. Uh, and, you know, it seems that this podcast has become more about empowering people. You know, and you know what? So be it. If that's what I'm good at, then uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's about comics, about all of that, but also bringing the message. And that's the, what I love about the film, you know, about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. There was a message. It was entertaining. It was fun. But ultimately, it was about the message. And you know what? That was the powerful thing, you know, very powerful thing, you know, and uh, it's the leap of faith. So this is my word for you today. Uh, what is it that is moving you? What is it that really shakes your heart, you know, makes it tremble? The thing that really makes you happy. Well, whatever it is, maybe that's where your heart is. Maybe that's where you need to be. Maybe that's where you need to put all your efforts on. And if you, you know, you get just move, you know, moved by, by painting, by drawing, by writing, creative videos on YouTube, um, whatever it is, you know, by, by a podcast, then try it. Just try it. What's the worst that could happen? That nobody listens, nobody watches. Nobody's pay attention. You know, that's the word that could happen. It doesn't mean that the world has ended. It doesn't mean that you can stop. You know, you will stop there. No, because you can continue on until someone will listen, until someone will watch, until someone will appreciate what you do. And believe me, in a world that there's more than five to six billion people, believe me, there's plenty of room. There's plenty of places, spaces and, and, and you know, and, and uh, you know, viewers and, and companies that will appreciate what you do. 
Believe me, they will be. So once again, thanks for listening to the podcast. You know, I leave you with that, you know, and uh, please uh, consider, you know, supporting this channel and my podcast, you know, as you know, getting I'm heading to a new direction. But, um, you know, if you want to support this, your views matter, your likes matter, you know, your comments really matter. They put me on the forefront ahead of others. And uh, also, you know, consider uh, supporting financially. You can do that as well, uh, you know, if you check out my Patreon account. Whatever you can do to support this channel will be greatly appreciated. So once again, God bless you, and I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.